Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fancers. So last time we have installed the Dart OS on uh, Redmi Note 11 and as I mentioned in our previous videos, we are welcoming Android 13. So in this video, I will be showing how to install the Android 13 on this device, Redmi Note 11 Space. So let's get started. So for this uh, installation video, I will be using the Evaluation X from Duo Hong and uh, this is the latest one comes with the September security patch and we have a few device changes like adding missing uh, tiles and pre-built Android audio, heating issues have resolved and screen flickering and they have uh, included the non axe based Gcam Go. So these are few of the uh, change logs we have it and I also have uh, checked the screenshots which is uh, good. So I have already downloaded it and I have it with me in uh, with me here. So as this is an official one if you are having an Android 12 official uh, evaluation X uh, you will be receiving, uh, receiving this through the OTA update. So yeah. So first I will uh, reboot my device to the recovery for that uh, I will I will have go to advance and I will reboot to recovery. I don't think we have the recovery here but I will let me just check if the recovery is not there I will just uh, reboot to bootloader and I will install the uh, recovery. Here I have the uh, .OS recovery so I will just uh, reboot to the bootloader from there I can uh, boot it to the TWRP so I will just uh, enable the insert this one and now in my PC I will open the tool ADB fastboot tool go to here this one and Installing TWRP. So here I have the commands to do that, and I need a tool. I have it in my so. Okay, so here I have the tool. First, I will go to the um, Redmi Note 11 folder and I have here I have the TWRP so from here I will just uh, do uh, uh, fast boot uh, boot fast boot boot and then I will drag and drop the TWRP and hit enter so as you can see now it is uh, rebooting to TWRP so as uh, I already took a backup of all my internal storage and files and also I have removed all the pattern and other stuffs uh, so it won't give any issues when I'm trying to install it so here the it is already uh, encrypted so I have to format the data so first I will go ahead and uh, format the data So once I have uh, formatted it, I will just uh, reboot, uh, before rebooting, I will just go to advance and install current TWRP. Okay, so I will now just reboot to the recovery. So here I am going to use the ADB side load method. So I will just uh, format all the things I need. I don't know. I will just wipe the data. Maybe I need to mount it. Okay. So, and I will just uh, uh, switch to B partition and go to recovery. And now I will format uh, this partition also. 
I believe that's how it works. So currently I'm in B partition, so the ROM will get installed in the A partition. So I will just go to advanced and ADB side load. So I also need to wipe uh, Dalvik and cache. So yeah, now in my PC, I will do uh, ADB devices. Yeah, my device is in side load mode in the ADB as you can see here. So I will just type ADB for side load and then I will uh, just uh, drag and drop that. Drag and drop the recent uh, evaluation X40 and hit enter. So I am planning to use this for at least for a month. So you you may not get any installation video or trying other rooms uh, at least for next three thirty days because I want to test how the OTA actually works in the official uh, streamline of Evaluation X or some other custom room for sake for the Realme sorry <laughs> Redmi Note 11. So yeah. So um, also uh, this is currently installing it in inactive partition A. So for that what I will do is I will just uh, mention it as installed partition A. So that <laughs> I won't forget I usually forget and I will just uh, switch it again and front and back so yeah. So uh, now it is installed so it is currently in a partition it should automatically switch it when we reboot it but I am intentionally selecting it should be a okay so I will just try to reboot to recovery. Okay so as you can see it is showing. Uh, or, or, or something so it is active partition is a here as you can see so now I will just uh, put it to system when it is booting I will also just uh, install my sim card Just insert in the first sim so we can right now uh, check whether uh, OLT and other stuffs are working. Oh my god! Yeah, we now have uh, successfully booted to Evaluation X, so I will just remove this cable. Okay, so now uh, start and uh, okay, I'm just copying it. I can't use the old device, so it will use my Google uh, Gmail account to restore all the things. Here all the backups are there, I will just use this uh, 10 hours how go backup. So I am just now uh, setting up the fingerprint. I will set all my fingers. So 
so i don't want to try it i already have used it so so um finally we are in the android 13 i'll open here So we are, uh, this is the Easter egg, we have it, we have seen it in previous uh, MI A2 video. So this is currently running with the uh, kernel uh, 4.19 puff. So the build date is uh, 10th September 2022. And currently if I check if there any update, um, I'll go here and go to system. Thermal profiles system check for update. So, this is currently in up to date. So, when I receive next to OTA, I will just uh, try to uh, record it and uh, will try to show it. So, all my applications are started installing. Here, we have the open camera and Just allow and then here I have a night mode, uh, HDR, flash, face retouch, all the options are there like normal camera, normal Gcam and here I also can, I, I don't have any option to uh, choose the uh, resolution and other things so that is a drawback so by default I believe it is um, shooting at um, 1080 30 FPS I believe so that's what about the camera and um, next we'll check if the calling is working fine calling services is working uh, so do we have a 90 hertz option uh, i believe it is already in 90 hertz so smooth display yeah we have the 90 hertz option and uh, tap to wake up and colors we will be having natural and boosted i think so booster saturation those stuffs also there and uh, we also have a evaluator uh, which is really good uh, when I was checking this in the uh, MIA2 uh, Arrow OS Android 13 there we don't have any sort of customization but here at least we have uh, the customization with the network traffic indicator and all the stuff which is really 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 great so overall it is as of now it's good looking good so once the review of that one is done i will just make it as my primary device and i will uh, start using it and we'll see it in the in-depth look so yeah thanks for watching code motor